everyone it's Kiri here with another layout for Bramble Fox and for this layout I'm using two of the perspective sets the spring meadow flower set and the family is everything set and I'm also using one of the fox cut new stencils that one's the hexagon one it's number 33 and you can see them um, just there to the left of the um, screen okay so I'm using um, white cardstock as my background and I'm using some marshmallow cardstock because I'm actually going to use some distress oxides with the fox cut um, hexagons so what I'm going to do, they're going to basically form the background for my layout. I actually don't use any pattern papers at all. So I'm just taking four different Distress Oxides and I'm just using one of the foam blending tools to add um, colour through the different sized hexagons um, on the stencil. And I sort of, I'm going to create a vertical design down through the layout using um, four different colours and a number of the different sizes of the stencil. And the stencil is really, really versatile actually. Um, I mean, I also, I've also used it, and you'll see it, you'll see it a bit later. I use it to, uh, as a template to cut out some hexagon shapes. You could draw through it and use it as a stitching template. So um, really quite a lot of ways that um, you can use your stencil. But I really like um, the effect that I got with the Distress Oxides um, through the stencil, just sort of building up as I, as, I, as I went. So there you go. You can see the four colours that I've used. And I used um, Speckled Egg, um, Scattered Straw, Dried Marigold and um, Kitsch Flamingo, the pink. Okay, I'm not going to show you me doing the whole lot of um, the Distress Oxides. Um, there you go. It's now all done. You'll see what I've done. I've just created, as I said, a vertical layout down the page. And now I'm just actually um, adding some splatters in the various colours to each of the hexagons. So just adding a little bit of um, a little bit of extra sort of detail. So just um, swiping each of the oxides onto my craft mat there on the right just adding a little bit of water and then um, um, splashing with the um, with a fine brush just to get a little bit of detail not too much at all I didn't want it to overpower it because I really liked how the um, hexagons looked once I'd finished them um, and then I'm using the um, Pink Fresh Studio Happy Heart collection it's one of the newest collections out um, really really pretty lots of um, lovely florals so I'd actually matched up the colors that I've used here um, with the Pink Fresh Studio collection so um, as I said I didn't use it well I've I say I didn't use any pattern paper. I do use one pattern paper to back my photo, but I don't actually use any other pattern papers to create any sort of, I guess, background. Um, I use some of the um, coordinating um, accessories. So, ah, I forgot. I did actually cut out some hexagons from one of the pattern papers. So totally getting it wrong. Um, okay, so I'm just picking out a couple of these um, patterns here from these small squares, but actually I don't end up using this side. I end up going with the, I think it's the other side of this paper, or is it another paper? I can't remember. But I go with um, a small floral in the end, and you can see that here, there's the hexagons that I've um, cut out using the fox cut stencil. And I'm just sort of, I've added them on where I think they're going to go. And I'm now just taking my photo. Um, I've used a black and white photo because it just worked better from a colour perspective. Um, and I'm just picking out this sort of ombre looking pink pattern paper just to add a little bit of um, um, separation between the photo and the background and just distressing the edges again, just to add a bit more texture and definition and I'm going to stick down the hexagons and I think all of the hexagons are stuck flat um, and I've just distressed all the edges of each of the hexagons as well um, and then just I'm, I'm going to sort of lift up the edges as well just to um, create that sort of dimension because it's quite flat the background there's not too much on there I just want to add dimension and sort of texture through some of the other elements that I'm using on the layout so you can just see me sort of lifting them the sides of each of the hexagons now and then I think I'll get my photo stuck down once I've gone around all of the hexagons um, 
and I'm just using the one photo and I've I've worked out where I wanted it to go so I'm just adding a little bit of um, foam sticky back foam to the top of the photo only and just leaving it flat on the bottom edge just making sure I've got that nice and straight before I stick that down. yes of course I brought in the trusty t-square to make sure it is and then I'm going to get the um, title down which is the our tribe perspective it's in white and it's from the family is everything set um, and I just I made sure I had um, something that I could sit that on because it's obviously white and I didn't want it to be on a white background so I made sure I had a um, the hexagon um, underneath to um, make sure that that sort of showed, showed through. Now I've picked out some of the floral ephemera and I'm just fussy cutting around the edges and there you go I've done all of that. I've just really taken off some of the excess white and I'm just sort of seeing where that sits and now I'm bringing in some of those really pretty floral and butterfly perspectives from the spring meadow flowers set and I'll um, I'm just sort of working out where they're going to go but I'm going for a bit of a tone on tone effect as you can see so I'm just getting the um, those fussy cut ephemera pieces stuck down and I'm starting to add in the um, perspectives again using glossy accents to get them stuck um, gives a nice strong hold so I'm working my way. Oh, I fussy cut a couple of butterflies. There's a really pretty pattern paper um, with full of butterflies in the um, Pink Fresh Studio collection. So I just fussy cut a couple of those out and um, I just stick them down on in on the center and bend up the leaves. Again, gives another piece of dimension. And now I'm just sort of deciding whether I'm going to add something on some of those um, plain hexagons, but I decide not to. I think that central one in the yellow and the orange at the top there I don't add anything to but I do add something um, I think I, I I do it off camera actually after I've sort of finished everything I sort of went back and actually added some extra enamel dots some sequins and a couple of little words some word stickers actually again and tried to keep to a sort of tone on tone effect down on the layout so I think I'm almost there. There we go. So the final layout, I've added my journaling down on the right as well. And you can see now close-ups of each of those lovely perspectives. I hope you've enjoyed my process video and I look forward to seeing you again in my next one. Thanks very much for watching.